In this video, we will see how to replace the battery of Motorola Moto G4 mobile phone. The first thing is to power down the mobile phone, which I had done little later. Now let's open the back cover of the phone. You can open it with a plastic triangle or use your nails. I was comfortable to open it with my nails. If you have not shut down it earlier, you should shut down it now because beyond this point, working on the mobile phone while connected with the battery may damage the circuits. Now remove all SIM cards and memory chips, whatever is there in the slots. Now you have to take your screwdriver out of all the screwdrivers. I found this one to be the most suitable for the size of the screws. This was ZKT4. Now open all the screws from the back side of the phone, there are altogether 19 screws. Remove them all one after the other. Now let me count how many screws I took out. There are only 18 screws, that means one screw is still there in the phone. Yes, I found the screw. This is the one I should remove. Now you can see there are altogether 19 screws. There are 4 groups of 4 4 screws each. And in the last group, there are only 3 screws. So altogether, there are 19 screws. And now keep the screws aside so that they should not be misplaced or lost. At this point, I should have removed the flashlight or torchlight cable from the motherboard, which I forgot. And so I removed the back cover directly. However, it didn't do any damage to the cable. It just pulled out the cable, which came out safely. Now you may find one or two adhesive tapes on the battery, which you have to remove. Now find the battery cable and remove it carefully from the motherboard. Now remove the battery from its case. The battery may be little tight because it may be fixed with a little bit gum inside. Just pull with little bit force from different sides and remove it carefully. In my case, there was a lot of gum and it was very tightly attached. As you can see, I had to apply a lot of force to remove it out. Moto G4 uses a 3000 mAh battery. You can get the battery from local shops or online shops. The price varies from 500 rupees to 800 rupees now this is my new battery which i purchased from an online store as you already know this is a 3000 milliampere battery 3.7 volt and 5.55 watt hour lithium ion battery now put the battery in its place and connect the battery cable to the socket on the motherboard. The socket for connecting the battery cable is very small, so be careful not to damage other components of the phone 
by pressing your finger here and there. Now put a new cello tape on the battery to fix it. However, I didn't have a new black tape, so I used the same old black tape and put some patch over it. Now the job is done. We will now fix the back cover. Here you should fix the flashlight or torchlight cable on the motherboard before fixing the back cover. If you forget to connect that cable, the phone will work. However, the flashlight or torchlight will not work. Now put back all the 19 screws to the place where you removed from. And now fix back your memory cards and SIM cards which you had removed earlier. I was very curious to check whether the operation was successful or not. So I connected the battery cable and checked it out. Yes, it was a success. The battery was charging and the phone was working. Everything was all right. Thank you for watching the video. Hope this was useful. Please like the video and subscribe the channel.